Hey guys, this is Cooper King Science, and today we are going to be performing the blue bottle experiment. For this reaction, you're going to need sodium hydroxide solution, 5 milliliters of syrup, distilled water, and methylene blue. Be careful with this stuff because it stains everything. First, add about 50 milliliters of distilled water to the 5 milliliters of syrup. Swirl the flask to ensure thorough mixing of the two ingredients. Now add just one drop of methylene blue. Again, swirl the flask to mix in the methylene blue. Now, add your sodium hydroxide solution very slowly dropwise into the flask containing the methylene blue, syrup, and water. After you add a few drops, swirl the flask and look for any color change. Eventually, the solution will turn back to the original brown syrup color. And once this happens, you need to stop adding sodium hydroxide immediately. I have this clip sped up a little bit, and you can see that the solution is beginning to lighten in color just a little bit, very slightly. And it turns a greenish color. And then all it took after that was just a couple more drops, and it was back to that brownish color. Now I decided to add about 50 more milliliters of water, and after I did that, you can see that it threw the balance of this reaction off and turned it back blue again. So I just had to add a few more drops of sodium hydroxide solution that reversed it. And now we're ready to go. Add a stopper to the flask, and when you're ready, start shaking it. As you can see, it turns back to the blue color of the methylene blue. Now if we let this sit, it'll eventually go back to the brown color of the syrup. Once this happens, we can just shake the flask again, and the reaction starts over. So what's happening here? The glucose in the syrup and the sodium hydroxide react, and this forms the enolate of glucose. After that, the enolate reacts with the methylene blue. This creates gluconic acid, which in an alkaline solution is in the form of sodium gluconate. The methylene blue is reduced and turns into colorless leucomethylene blue. When the solution is oxygenated by shaking, the leucomethylene blue is reoxidized to methylene blue and the solution turns blue again. When the solution is left to sit, the glucose reaction takes over and the solution turns back to the original color. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe for more. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but don't worry, I've got a few more videos in the making. They should be coming out soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.